Hey, what's good, everybody? This is M. Simp again here with ReasonToWork.com. Today, what we'll be doing is talking about how to use Reason with a uh, DAW of your choice. D-A-W, Digital Audio Workstation. I've got a Reason uh, track here and, uh, you know, just the strings, a piano, uh, four chord progression. And then in the Pro Tools, I've got this set up with Reason um, coming in as an instrument track, you know, per each track that I have. So an instrument track for the piano and an instrument track for the strings. Um, I've got some audio muted. I'll show you guys how to quote unquote track your beats out here in just a minute. Um, but first things first, I know a lot of guys were having problems getting everything to <clears throat> basically run into uh, uh, into a, a third party application like Pro Tools. Um, reason 6.5 is what I'm on. This is Pro Tools 8. You cannot do this in 64-bit mode with these two programs. So what you want to do is jump into um, Reason at the Applications folder. And you'll just need to get info. I don't know how you do this on PC. Um, but there's a box here that says Open in 32-bit mode. You need to have that activated in order to rewire Reason into Pro Tools. I don't know how that works on Pro Tools 9 or 10. <clears throat> It may work in 64-bit mode. I just know Pro Tools 8 does not. All right, so um, let me let you guys hear the progression, and then I'll delete everything um, as far as the wiring and hookups, and we'll just kind of see how everything is set up and how we can get that set up for yourself. All right, here we go. So that's coming out of basically Pro Tools, my master um, application, the host application, which is uh, controlling basically all the sound for um, Reason and Pro Tools. So if you see here, I'll play that again, but you'll also see the levels jump in here um, per my tracks in Reason. Okay, so... Let's go back to Reason, talk about how we're going to set all this up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete these tracks here in Pro Tools. So I've got a blank Reason template here. And uh, what we want to do is I just want to add a couple of instruments. So let's add a piano. All right. And then let's add uh, keys. All right, so now I'm, I'm hitting keys, as you guys can see there. Reasons is letting me know that I am getting MIDI here. So you guys see this here, green, green box. So I'm hitting keys, but I'm not getting sound there. And that's because nothing is ran into Pro Tools just yet. So what we want to do is go into Pro Tools. Uh, I want to create two stereo tracks, call them instrument tracks, and then create them. <clears throat> and I will just duplicate that. Sorry about that. All right, so when you go into your insert menu, you want to go to multi-channel plugin, instrument, and then anything that you've got set up that can be ran into Pro Tools will pull up automatically. So I'm going to put Reason there, and if I hit Alt and drag, I can just off, basically copy and paste that, uh, that instrument setting there. Now what you want to do is, in Reason Rewire mode, these correspond to the different channels on the Reason Audio output. So if I get back to my rack, and you see here you've got one and two, which is quote unquote left and right, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, on down to 64 channels, okay? That's what corresponds in Pro Tools here. So left and right is one and two because three and four follow, all right? So right now, we'll say my piano, the piano that I set up here, this track here will be my piano, okay? And those are keys playing because right now I am selected on keys. This should be piano. All right, there we go. So I wanna label this. And labeling is extremely important. You wanna make sure that everything stays labeled so that you kinda know where you're at, you kinda know what's going on you know, as you're working along in Pro Tools and in Reason, um, especially when you begin tracking out beats. <clears throat> I'm going to label this track here Keys. And I'm going to change this one here to 3 and 4. Now, this is very important. When you get into multi-tracking, 
um, stems for your favorite artist and they say, hey, we're ready to mix down the record. Can you send me the quote unquote stems? This is how you do it. Stems are basically each track broken down. Keys, pianos, horns, drums, bass, guitar. Um, and then they want to take that to an engineer that can mix that, you know, quite well with their vocals. Gives them optimal mixing power. Um, so you definitely want to learn how to do this as you're coming up. So let's play something basic. All right. Another good thing that I do want to mention is that Pro Tools will control the tempo here. So if I want to change the tempo of the song, I would not do that in Reason. I will change that here in Pro Tools. If I want to go 150, so now my tempo is 150 as you see here. And then I go back to Reason, the tempo actually corresponds. So even if I move the tempo here, it's going to go back down. That's because Pro Tools is the master. Okay? So just the FYI there. Um, I think this tempo should work. So you can still operate in Reason just like normal. So I'm going to record, do everything I do in Reason. Pro Tools just gives you that optimal plug-in power. I've got some plugins that I'll show you guys. Um, we'll pull those up as we're working along in this track. But let me go ahead and put some, uh, some keys down and we'll begin. something real simple I'm gonna come in here and delete the little mess up here should play back just the way we heard it and I'm gonna quantize all of this that's gonna be command K there we go all right so not trying to do too much here. just want to kind of give you guys a basic idea of how we can get this set up I'm really just going to copy that. Again, that's Alt, Drag, and Copy. I like to keep my stuff color labeled. Again, organization is key when working with multiple tracks. And we'll get this to start on the two here. So now we should have keys and piano playing on both tracks. All right. So I'm going to scroll through a key patch just to give it a little bit more clarity out of there. All right, let's try that one more time. All right, so that's what we got going on here. So you see my keys, my piano, both are playing. Now this is in Reason again. If I go to Pro Tools, they're both coming out of the same track. Both of these tracks are coming out of the same track. Now the trick is, when you come back to Reason, the way you multi-track is you have mix channels. So piano has a mix channel. This corresponds to what you see here in my mixer. So this is the box that is it's routed through. Okay. So I'm going to go back to my rack. The keys also has one as well. But when I flip this, you do see that both are going into the mix channels. And then my master section basically is sending Pro Tools audio out of just one and two. All right. So the way you want to multi-track is... This little box right here is the direct out. And this is what's going to correspond to any channel that you bring into Pro Tools. So I'm going to route this for multi-tracking purposes. So I'm going to put that into three and four, okay? And what we do then from there is on your insert, you'll change this to three and four. Now what you should hear is pianos out of one and two, quote unquote, L and, L and R, left and right. And then three and four coming out of, uh, coming out of reason. Now let's try it again. I'm going to play it. Now it should be multi-tracked. All right, you see that? So what I'm going to do is go back to Reason. I'm going to turn this track down just a little bit. So you still have mixing power here in Reason. If I still wanted to come in here and sculpt with Reason's EQ, um, I definitely could do that. All right, so back to Pro Tools. What we're going to do now is multi-track so what i want to do now is set up two audio tracks stereo and then i want to bus these two tracks down to audio track so that i can preserve computer power um as i continue to move along in pro tools so what i'm going to do is i'm going to bus this one to one and two again keeping everything constant this is still one and two here 
and it corresponds to one and two in reason. So why not, you know, why change it? Just keep everything simple for yourself. This will be three and four, because again, on our insert from reason, it's three and four. Now, what I also want to do is take the bus input on these audio tracks to bus one and two, and then bus three and four, respectively. And this is going to be piano audio. Okay. Now, again, this is when an artist hits you up and says, hey, I need those stems. Publisher hits you up and says, hey, I need the stems so that we can mix the record. This is how you get it done. So I've got the piano coming out of Reason into Pro Tools and in Pro Tools out of bus channel one and two into an audio track, which is catching its feed from bus one and two. OK, same thing here with the keys coming in from Reason into Pro Tools out of bus three and four on an audio track into bus three and four. OK, so now we're ready to track out. So what you're going to hear is reason play. Pro Tools is going to record my audio. Now you can mute these if you don't want to hear everything play along. That's fine. Um, I'll leave these unmuted and uh, we'll go from there. So I will hit play record and then what you should have is tracked out audio. All right, there you have it. Now you do see my microphone recording here. That's because I do need to uh, be able to speak and have that on as well, but I can delete that audio just as easy. All right, so now I'm just gonna solo that audio. It should sound exactly the way we set it up. From Reason, anything that we did effect-wise in Reason, any plugins that we've added on Pro Tools, you're gonna get the exact same sound. Keys by themselves. All right. So then what I do after I track that out, when I'm ready to move on, I'm just going to inactivate those two tracks. So now essentially everything in reason is dead. OK, so I will build my whole track here. And then in one pass, hit record and and play and you've got your beat tracked out. So this is just an instance where I've just done two tracks. But if I had drums, horns, bass, um, you know, any type of vocal samples or anything, I'm going to set each track up. So essentially make sure that your system is powerful enough to, to handle, you know, every track that you want to bring in from reason. But what you would do is you'd have an instance of instrument tracks routed from reason for every instrument that you do have. And then now what you have is audio into your pro tools. And to take it a step further. I can further edit here with plugins. So if you want to get very, very creative, you bring in SSL all on that audio track. So I can process here as it's an instrument. Then I can process here as it's audio. So this is msimp, reason to work .com. Let me know if you guys have any questions, comments. Um, subscribe to the YouTube channel. And we'll be looking forward to more tutorials coming soon. Thank you.